Hi everyone, this is John Burton with SAP. Today, I'd like to introduce you to the new Enterprise Edition of Desktop Connection for SAP CRM. SAP actually offers two versions of Desktop Connection. The basic Professional Edition, which is included free of charge with your existing CRM user license, and the new Enterprise Edition, which provides expanded capabilities and requires an additional license. So the basic Professional Edition allows users to manage accounts, contacts, emails, tasks, and appointments directly from Microsoft Outlook and to synchronize those records with SAP CRM. The new Enterprise Edition provides all those same capabilities plus some major enhancements including out-of-the-box support for leads and opportunities as well as the ability to add your own SAP CRM business objects on a project basis. The Enterprise Edition also provides other expanded capabilities not available in the basic Professional Edition including support for one-to-many relationships between contact persons and accounts, multiple text types, and reoccurring appointments. So let's take a look at the new Enterprise Edition. Here we are inside Microsoft Outlook. In the upper right, we can see the desktop connection add-in with the SAP specific functions like the Open an SAP CRM button. You'll also notice the desktop connection icon in the lower right in the taskbar. And in the menu on the left side, we'll see several folders including things like accounts, which normally wouldn't be available in Outlook, and we know that we're in the Enterprise Edition rather than the Professional Edition because of the Leads and the Opportunities folder. So let's take a look at an opportunity. We double click on an opportunity to open it and then we'll see the exact same fields that we'd see inside the SAP CRM web client. Things like the description, the prospect, the contact person, the employee responsible. We see under the forecast the expected sales revenue, there's the start date, closing date, the sales stage, chance of success, status, reason, origin, priority, and ideally there would be some products attached to this opportunity. In this case, let's make some changes directly inside the opportunity. For example, instead of a chance of success being 90%, we're worried that this is now only going to be 10%. And let's add a product. So I'll type in HT1010, which I happen to know. There we go. Choose that one. Click OK. And you can see the product has been added to the opportunity. We've changed the chance of success down to 10%. And let's save and close. Then we'll synchronize these changes with the backend SAP CRM system by double clicking on the icon here. While the synchronization process is running, we can still work in Outlook. So for example, we could go look at the leads, open up a lead, and you'll see that similar to the opportunity, we have all the fields inside Outlook that we would normally have in CRM. For the lead, it might be things like the status, the, region, the reason, the origin, and the qualification level. Okay, so the opportunity has finished synchronizing to SAP CRM. Let's close this lead, go back to the opportunities, this is the opportunity that we are working on. We'll click to open the opportunity in SAP CRM to verify that the changes have been replicated. I don't have single sign-on installed, so I'll click to continue. And here is the opportunity inside SAP CRM. We can see, for example, that the chance of success has been changed from 90% down to 10%. So this has been John Burton presenting the new Enterprise Edition of Desktop Connection for SAP CRM. Thanks for your time.